My name is Tiny Tim and I'm a sculptor and this week I'm taking Jack Skellington and I'm turning him into a 1930s style cartoon. Before we get into it, make sure to hit that like, hit that subscribe, and if there's anything you want me to sculpt, just leave a comment down below. Alright, let's get into it. So starting off with an armature, it was pretty easy. I just used some 12 gauge wire, wrapped it up with some florist wire, and then I bulked it up with just a little bit of clay. And from there, I started on the ground. For the ground, I just took some clay, ran it through my pasta maker, the thickest setting, and I started etching some lines in the ground. Because when I was looking at some reference photos, the ground in Nightmare Before Christmas, they have all these lines going through it. So I just wanted to make it look as close to the movie as possible, while still sculpting it in my own style. Once the ground was finished, I started working on some jacket lanterns. I started sculpting them just to look like regular pumpkins with carvings in their face, but they didn't really match the 1930 style aesthetic I was going for. So towards the end of it, I did change them up a little bit. For the final touches on the ground, I just rolled up some clay and thin little ropes, and I put it on to make it look like vines grown from a pumpkin patch. The body was pretty simple. I didn't want to distract too much with a lot of detail. So I just bulked up the body with some clay, then I started adding the detail like the lapel, and the hands and the feet. For the head, all I did was I used the back of my X-Acto knife to give him some eyes. And then for the mouth, I just added a cheeky little smile. I didn't film myself making the mouth, but a lot of the reference photos I was looking at, they all had this kind of little half smile with a little dimple on the side. It was a lot of fun trying to make a well-known character into a different style. These were the new pumpkins I made because the regular jack-o'-lantern face, it didn't go well with the styles going for, a lot of the reference photos I was looking at for those rubber hose animations. All the vegetation and the animals, they all had the same kind of face. So I wanted to add that onto the pumpkins just to make everything look like the same style. The painting was pretty easy just because I didn't want to do any color. Because a lot of the 1930s style animations, they didn't have any color in them. So I wanted to do black and white. So I started everything off with a base coat of black. And from there, I just started adding the black, whites, and grays where I thought were good. Jack was pretty simple. He was, he was only black and white. And then the pumpkins I did in like a light gray and a darker gray, just to make it look like a black and white style cartoon. For the final touch, I had to add the stripes onto Jack's suit. It was kind of annoying, but I think it looked really good at the end. Let's take a look at those final shots. We got another diorama in the books. Thank you guys for hanging out. Again, if there's anything you want me to sculpt, leave a comment down below. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. See ya.